Hey everyone, so uh, I thought a while about making this video whether I should really even make this thing or not, but uh, I figured I'd just go ahead and make it while it's still fresh on my mind and vent a little bit. So uh, I just gotta warn you, this is probably not gonna be a video a lot of you all are gonna particularly like, I, I already know, but uh, hey, it's my channel, I'm gonna make it anyway. So I uh, had a situation yesterday with a group of individuals on a live stream uh, talking, conversing about scriptural things, and I was not able to get on right which is fine that happens all the time i'm not able to, to get on and certain people are on like you see them talking and i was just in the comment section had a brother in christ um because he's still a brother in christ but told me he disagreed with me on my two-step reconciliation thing that i preach and he said he didn't he didn't understand he he thinks the wording i'm using doesn't make any sense because he's he doesn't see he tried to say that reconciliation is basically fixing a, a relationship between two, two parties, right? He doesn't understand how that makes sense with the two-step thing that I say. I believe it makes perfect sense, and that's why I want to explain. But before I go into detail, I will no longer be having any more live interactions with anyone. Don't care if you're a brother or sister in Christ. Uh, I will no longer have any more live videos with anyone because I don't feel the other day I was able to properly defend what I believe and I believe it was almost purposely done this way to me. They took This person took the opportunity to do this while I was not able to talk like I am right now, how you can see me. Um, so you wait till you can't see me and I'm just in the comment section, and that's when you voice your opinion, you, whatever you want to say that you disagree. I'm going to try to break down reconciliation to chimpanzee-level intelligence. It's a, I mean, basically the equivalent of a monkey should be able to understand what I'm about to say. Uh, if I see any racist jokes or anything like that in the comment section, because some dumbass might try to jump in here and say something racist to me, I know that might not happen. I'm just simply saying... Uh, just throwing it thrown out there's some troll whatever they like to flip what I say and turn it back on me or something um so reconciliation I've already explained what that word means it's basically fixing a relationship between two different parties right so at the cross God was in Christ reconciling the world to himself I say that is step one all right Basically, essentially, God is saying he's at peace with the world. Now, you, the person watching this video, some of you may have already reconciled yourself to God. You did that when you believed the gospel. Some of you may have not. But it is still important that you reconcile yourself to God. That's step two. The be ye reconciled to God is step two. So step one, God reconciled the world to himself at the cross. Step two, you must reconcile yourself to God. Now, people focus on the word steps and it's so frustrating. And I, and I really say, I'm sorry to say, I think you're a dumbass. I, I think you are a very stupid individual if that's the thing that offends you. If what offends you is me saying the word steps, step one, step two. If that just, ah, ah, you are a dumbass. I'm, you are. You are. Because reconciliation, how is it complete? How is reconciliation complete if only God reconciled the world to himself? If only he reconciled himself to the world, and that's it. Nothing else happened. You calling that complete. There are dumbasses saying that that is reconciliation. They're saying that that's it. Not no, you must reconcile yourself to God. No, no, no. No, Brandon, not that part. Just God reconciled himself to the world. Re reconciled the world to himself. That's it. That's it. Nothing else further. Nothing else. 
And, and to me, it sounds like an abusive relationship. That's what it sounds like. I mean, imagine there's a guy and a girl and the, and they're both mad at each other, right? Because, I, I, again, I'm trying to use intelligence. You know, I'm trying to break it down to chimpanzee level so people can understand. A guy and a girl are mad at each other, okay? The guy reconciles himself to his girlfriend. He tells her, hey, I'm at peace with you. I'm fine, honey. Everything's fine. And, and let's just say his wife. Because some people say, oh, don't say his girlfriend. You're talking about living in sin. Fine then, his wife. You know there's people out here with girlfriends, boyfriends. You know that. And no one's living in sin because God isn't charging sin today. But the point is, so you got a guy. He reconciles to his wife. He's like, it's okay, honey. You know, I'm okay with you. You know, we're fine now. I'm at peace with you. But his wife, she says, I'm not at peace with you. I'm pissed off that you just cheated on me last night. I'm done with you or reverse. It could be the wife cheated on the husband. The wife says, okay, well, let's just move forward, honey. I'm sorry. You know, it was only, I, I just got drunk and those three guys just snuck in the house. I'm sorry I cheated on you with all three of them at the same time. And then the guy says, oh my God, you just got a train ran on you by three men. I can't, I can't deal with this. I'm, no, I can't let this go. You have pissed me off. I'm not at peace with you. I'll never forgive you. And, and the one, you know, throw forgiveness out. I'm not talking about forgiveness right now. I'm just throwing that in the conversation. I'm saying the woman that cheated on the husband, she makes peace with her, with her husband, but the husband has not made peace with the wife. Okay? You cannot use, I'm using this example. You cannot say, well, God made the, he's at peace with the world and that's all that counts. Because basically, because somebody tried to tell me the other day in this live interaction, they tried to say reconciliation was complete at the cross. All of it, all of it was done at the cross. Even the be ye reconciled to God, all of it, all of it was done at the cross. Fucking insane. Oops, I cussed. Yes, fucking insane. Yes, completely insane. Made no sense at all. I told you you're not going to like this video. <laughs> click off, click off. Completely fucking nuts. So is God just, just grabbing? Come here, come here. You're, you're going to, I'm re you're, I'm reconciled. I'm at peace with you. I'm at peace with you. And, and, then, and then the individual person. <laughs> okay, God, like just against his will, right? I mean, that's pretty much how people are, right, are saying it. Like, basically, it doesn't, they're saying a person doesn't need to be reconciled to God. But then they'll say he does. This, this was during the, the conversation. Brandon, I, my fucking brain, Brandon, I just can't understand it, Brandon. So, I mean, I mean, I agree a person does have to believe the gospel to reconcile themselves to God. But I just can't agree. It's two steps. Oh, my God. That's pretty much what was happening yesterday in, in the conversation. And that's why I said I'm not going to do any more lives with anybody, man. Because, again, you should have allowed me online to, to actually properly defend what I was talking. But you took the opportunity to say this shit like a coward in front of everybody there on live. And I can't say anything. I can only type and respond. So I'll do it on a YouTube video. And this person might make a rebuttal video. I don't give a fuck what they think. I don't care anymore. I'm done with this group shit. I'm done with it. Because it's brothers and sisters in Christ that are dumbasses. Yep, I said it. It's brothers and sisters in Christ that are dumbasses, that are not, they are not studying the scripture. They are completely, because it affects their feelings, they don't want to believe it. But then that same time, they agree with me at the same time. They'll say, well, I do believe that a person does have to believe the gospel to reconcile themselves to God. I'm like, then what the fuck is the point of us arguing then? You agree with what, I, what the fuck I just said. What is the point? I just don't like the two steps thing. I mean, that's like me arguing with my ex-girlfriend or some shit. Like, I don't, I don't like how you said that. I mean, the information you said was true, but these words, this, this, this word you just said, it just, oh God, it just goes all over me. Steps, step one and step two. 
that's that's what you're hung up on. That's what you're hung up on. I have to say step one and step two, sir, because the entire process did not happen at the cross. <laughs> what happened at the cross was God was in Christ reconciling the world unto himself. That's all that happened at the cross. Do, do you understand? That's all. That's what happened at the cross. Now, the process is actually complete. That part is complete. Then I know like, like people are saying, like, but that's only half of it. I know it's only half of it. Half of the process there at the cross, that was complete. The other half, the, uh, the step two, right? The other half is dependent upon you. It's dependent upon you. The individual person. Okay? If you never believe the gospel, then you never reconcile yourself to God. Therefore, basically only step one, half of the process was done for you. God did his part. God was in Christ reconciling the world unto himself, not imputing their trespasses, the worlds. He did that. That's complete. That happened at the cross. Okay? Step one, half of the process. I have never said the entire process of reconciliation took place at the cross. I don't believe that. I don't care who the fuck you are. I don't care how big you are. It could be Trey from Truth Time Radio. If he said the entire process, I don't believe it then. I don't do not believe the entire process happened at the cross. No, I don't. I know what happened at the cross. God was in Christ reconciling the world unto himself, not imputing their trespasses. That's what happened at the cross. That's what happened at the cross. Through the blood of his cross. Reconcile all things down. I'm paraphrasing another verse. That happened at the cross. The other part, the be ye reconciled to God, did not happen at the cross. That's the other part of the process. That didn't happen at the cross. That is why I say step one and step two. And I'm very sure if what I was saying didn't make any sense, Trey from Truth Time Radio wouldn't even be playing it on his radio station. He's playing what I said on his radio station. So apparently he agrees with me. But these are the types of cowards that will sit there and dance around the situation. They won't dare tell Truth Time from radio that they disagree with him. The all great and powerful Trey from Truth Time Radio. That's how certain people feel. He's just a man like I am. But I'm saying like they'll they'll talk shit to me though, but won't tell Trey to his face that they disagree. Okay, me and Trey are saying the same thing. Trey himself is said on his own channel. He believes reconciliation is a two-step process. So why don't you go fucking bitch to Trey? Why don't you go yell to him about how you don't believe it? Why are you going to come and fuck with me? Oh, because I'm a small channel. That's why you fuck with me, right? But you won't dare say the Truth Time Radio, right? Why not? You got balls. Go tell that to Trey. So again, I know I've, I've said a lot of bad words today. And I know a lot of you might unsubscribe. Oh, <laughs> cry. I have said numerous times, I don't give a fuck if all y'all leave. <laughs> He's being bad. No. All, I don't even care if you get saved or not. I care that you heard the truth. It's not me to say, it's not my job to save you. It's not my job to save you. My job is to give you the truth and you decide whether you're going to believe it or not. Jesus Christ is the one that saves you, not Brandon. So why should I sit here and be upset? Damn, I gave that guy the gospel. I just, I don't know if he's going to get saved or not. Why should I be upset about that? I gave you the truth. I gave you the gospel. I told you what happened at the cross. And on this, on reconciliation, I told you reconciliation happened. If you don't want to listen, if you don't want to believe me, fine then. Don't watch the channel, but don't invite me to no damn live discussions no more. Uh, you might sit here and talk about me on Facebook. Don't worry. You won't see me and I won't see you. I'll, I promise you, you know, unfriend, right? <laughs> like, so you won't see my posts and I won't see your posts. 
Like, if we just go our separate ways. And that's just the way it is. And, you know, I'm just going to be that way. Honestly, that's going to be for anybody that was on that live discussion. Because not a single person on that live discussion spoke up and said anything. They just sat there and was just... As the other guy just sitting there, yeah, yeah, I, you know, I don't really dis, I disagree with them on that. They just sit there like, not, not, not a single person. I felt like Denzel Washington from that movie. Um, dang, I can't remember. He was like an under, undercover uh, cop, but he was like a bad cop. But like, he was like in a bad area at the towards the end of the movie. And he was, like, I know the hood got my back, and he turns around. He's like, you motherfuckers. <laughs> like, that's how I felt in that live discussion. I'm looking like, oh, I see what the fuck going on here. Don't nobody agree with the black guy, right? Nobody agree with Boat Rocker. Not on this issue. Oh no. So I put out my feelings, and that felt that felt pretty good to get that off my chest. Um, so you don't like what I said? Fuck you. <laughs> fuck you. You don't have to watch the channel anymore. I've said what I've said. I'm still saved. I believe the gospel. I've already trusted the gospel. I can tell the truth to you and tell you to go fuck yourself at the same time. Where do you do that at? On this channel. Have a great day.